A cyklisti to ignorují, to je pravda. Just recently we made a video on our channel Honest Guide where we were showing off with changes that happened after we made a YouTube video. Well, today we're going to show you our YouTube fails. In other words, we made a video, we thought we changed something, but we failed. And this is the first example. Oh boy, it makes me cry. Which is what this place needs. It needs water now. So this place was just dirt and dust. And the reason for it was because tourists come here to the statue and they take a picture with the dancing house. I don't blame them, it's a beautiful building, but because of that, we lost the grass. So during the pandemic, we made a video where we seeded and planted grass here and we were like super happy about it. Well, guess what? I don't know if you noticed, but the pandemic is over, so tourists are back and our beautiful grass is slowly uh, getting gone again. Now, of course, we cannot prevent people from going on grass, it would be naive but uh, our architectural skills were not that high enough that we would build like a sidewalk. Honestly, I was hoping that somebody from the city would see it and be like, oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, planted grass and how about a build a nice little path so the tourists can walk on it. Well, nobody did it. So we planted grass and it's gonna be gone most likely this or the next season. And you can see the hot spots where people go to take the picture. I mean, there's still some spots where there's grass. It's better than it was before, but it, is most likely a fail. On a scale of one to 10, I'd say a solid seven. Now, who is here to blame? Well, maybe mainly Instagram and people that all want the same exact picture. Uh, us for being very naive, thinking we can change something permanently with very limited resources we have. But I think mainly who is here to blame is the city that simply does not care about public space that is visited so heavily. I mean, this building attracts so many tourists and all we do is nothing. We just wait till it, the grass gets wasted and like the whole area here is actually quite ugly. So I think the city should do something about it and they're the main ones to blame here. Oh man, this video is gonna be so much about blaming the city, it's gonna hurt. Now, if you think we're in touch with the city discussing how they should do a reconstruction of the square and make it nicer, we're not. But if you want us to take over it and redo it ourselves and maybe come up with an idea how to do it, we will get in touch with some architects and maybe do it. Just let us know in the comments below if you want to see that. Oh, and also if you're wondering if all this is legal, I don't know. For some reason, people love to tag themselves around on uh, walls of buildings with spray paint on houses and buildings and Charles Bridge even. And in the same exact category for me falls the love locks. It's the same thing. It has your name on it. You put it on something. It's a vandalism. But for people, since it's a love lock, it's a symbol of love. They're like, oh, but that's okay. No, it's the exact same thing. And we came to this place three years ago and we cut off all the love locks, thinking we will prevent people from putting them up since they will come here, will not see a single love lock and they will simply not do it. But something called an effect of broken glass works here. That means if a one person puts this love lock on the fence, others will slowly join and follow. So as the tourists are coming back to the city, also this form of vandalism, putting locks on this fence. And not only here, they put it on lamps, statues, they put it everywhere. And once they lock their little lock, they take their key, sorry about that, and they throw it into the river. So not only they're vandalizing the public space, but they're also polluting, excuse me, what? Oh, sorry, I thought we were actually filming here first, but what's, that's okay, I'll start over. As you could see and can see, some tourists simply don't care. And that's also the result of this. Uh, it is tiring to cut off all these locks. They weighted more than a ton. Also, the weight on the fence, it can eventually fall into the river and collapse. There's one evidence of it where the fence is missing. Honza will show you in a picture. Uh, so in a way, we failed. We did make a video about this. It was seen by millions and millions of people. People were hating us for cutting the love locks, but I feel like we should get our bolt cutters again, man.
Before we continue onto our next fail, let's take a little break, not only for my legs, but also for our sponsor, sponsored break. Uh, and our sponsor, long-term partner is Surfshark VPN, a service that uh, not only we use, but you can use as well. Useful, especially when you travel, uh, or if you want to travel without actually traveling. In other words, you can watch a show that is restricted only to a certain country without going to the country. That's where VPN steps in, Surfshark. You can install it in your phone, tablet, or computer. You simply open it and you'll say, I want to be in the United States of America because there's a good show that I want to watch. And suddenly it will be available on your computer no matter where you are around the world. There's also security reasons. There's also other reasons that we will uh, follow up on on our future episodes because, as I said, long-term partner. You want to try it out? Surfshark VPN offers 83% off three months completely for free if you use our code HONESTGUIDE or if you click the link below. So we're going from one fail through our sponsor break to another fail. Let's go. Let me put the chair back so we don't have more fails. This spot for the city of Prague is quite important. There's a theater, there's an estate building uh, which has a concert hall inside, there's this beautiful powder gate and a national bank. And we've recently filmed about this powder gate. We were saying how happy we were that after our video, the city decided not to let cars park under it. And I also said like, yeah, cars are still driving under it, but I'm sure one day that will change because it's bizarre to have car traffic going under a gothical gate, right? Like that's bizarre. But to me, it seems like we're running in a circle, still on the same spot. I guess somebody from the city saw our video and they saw that there's like a traffic jam under the powder gate. So they were like, yeah, we got a solution for that. How about we build a giant roundabout in the old city of Prague, a traffic circle. This is genius. Look, we have a brand new roundabout in the old historical city of Prague. So you can stand in the middle and admire all the beauty I just mentioned. Cool, huh? Why? Now you may be wondering why. And yes, I'm wondering the same thing. This probably doesn't have to do anything with our video. Like the city probably did not see the video and said, let's do a roundabout. But this decision is just so bizarre. It's unbelievable. That square is a pedestrian zone. That main street is a main pedestrian zone. There is a pedestrian zone leading to the old town square and you build a traffic circle that should be like next to a supermarket on the suburbs of Prague. Even like traffic circles there will look better. And it's not just the traffic circle. There's so many traffic signs that they had to put up because for some reason we're obsessed with traffic signs. There's 11 new traffic signs. There are 24 new traffic poles that are here because people will illegally park there. Why don't you just extend the sidewalks? And I don't want to put myself into an architect or into an urban planner who will be telling the city what to do. But if you as a foreigner can see that this is weird, yes, we locals see it too. And we apologize that we cannot deal with a beautiful historical city that Prague is in a better manner. And we are literally walking in circles. And you can see how upset I am about it. Now the city has created sort of a dead spot here because legally you cannot drive across this area. I don't think legally we can walk here. You cannot park here. Uh, maybe they can fit like four parking spots. So people obviously, people of Prague came up with great ideas of what to put here. Uh, the idea one is to put a big black, big black uh, astronomical clock from Brno here. But my favorite is to put a giant Trdelnik in the middle. Or please, let's at least put like a three Trdelnik stands here. It can have access from all the sides. It can be a drive through Trdelnik, the very first one. That'd be awesome. Hello. Put your hands up if you're having fun. Oh, one person is having fun. Cool. I always wanted to do that. Now there were plans to make this place look a bit better. This is the proposal from an institute that is suggesting to the city how it should develop and how it should plan. For some reason, somebody looked at that and said, no, we just like want to do a roundabout. Uh, let us know in the comments, and I'm really honestly curious about this, if this is only a thing that bothers the locals or if you as a tourist, when you'll come to Prague to admire this beauty, you'll look at this and be like, yeah, I don't care. Or if you will feel like, no, this, this just shouldn't be here. I'd rather walk on a nice 
sidewalk with a lot of cobblestone. Let us know, I'll uh, for sure read your thoughts about it. And just to be fair, so we're not only criticizing the city, the city is following its uh, rules that it's established because the roundabout we showed you is not the first one. It's a follow-up on this one, also in the historical city center. And this one also with the yellow pimples. Love it. Even though we failed, we tried to be positive about it and deliver the message to you honestly. Let us know what you thought were our fails through our videos. Maybe you saw our videos, came to Prague and thought to yourself, now that's a fail from their side. I'm really, really curious if uh, a situation like that may have happened so we can follow up on that. This was Honza, Yannick. We really got to finish this shot quickly because in one minute, all these people will be finished watching the astronomical clock and they will leave our way. So I'm leaving too and I'll see you next Sunday. Subscribe to our channel. It will make us happy. Ahoy. And usually in the end, I teach you a Czech word. This time will be no different. I will teach you how to say fail in Czech and that is neúspěch. So fail is neúspěch. The opposite is success and that is úspěch. You just drop the net. Úspěch is success.